So this new tax is, has shocked me. In fact, this new tax disgusts me, but this new tax does not surprise me. Now, I've been saying to people for over three years that taxes will rise and rise and rise and rise. Taxes are as high as they've been, what, since the late 70s in the UK? And I've been saying that they will continue to rise. Many people have said to me, well, Rob, they, they can't go up anymore. Here's what the dirty bastards do. They implement new taxes that, one, they don't use the word tax. And two, they make out that the money it generates is for the good of society. So if the government could put tax up more, they would, because they have. Corp tax went up from 19 to 25%. Income tax at the higher bracket, which many people fall into now because of the, um, the ratchet system, which lures you in. Do you know in a certain band of tax, you pay 60% income tax in a specific band for a specific amount? Absolute scam. <laughs> 60%. So anyway, they've upped it and upped it and upped it. And they're probably not going to be able to up it much more using the word tax without you getting really pissed off. Well, actually, you should be doing lives like me. You should be pissed off like me. You should be ranting like me. You should be sharing videos like this. You should be standing against lockdowns and continual tax grabs and voting with your feet, i.e. getting down to London and campaigning and bat pounding the streets uh, and changing your behaviour. But most people don't. They just put up with it. Anyway, so there's two new, what I will call stealth taxes, which I think are shocking and disgusting, but not surprising. I will get to them, but the context is important. So national insurance, do you know what that is? It's a tax. Business rates, do you know what that is? It's a tax. And here's what they've gone and done. They are now charging landlords uh, for a license. Do you know what a license is? It's a tax. So they can call a license a license, but it's still a tax. So a landlord now has to pay £908 in certain areas, in certain cities, to get a license to be a landlord. Now, of course, they're going to say, oh, well, you know, we want to make sure we look after the tenants. And we want to make sure that there are no scum, slum landlords. And you know, we want to make sure that the areas aren't run down. And we're going to put the money back into the community. Hmm. I wonder who's running. You know, these licenses you're going to get, you're going to need to, need to get them from a licensing company. Oh, I wonder who's going to be financially linked and recommending the license companies. I wonder. So also, in their infinite wisdom of needing to, no, wanting to increase tax more, increasing tax more, calling it a license, thinking we're fucking stupid and we don't know what a license really is. Who's going to get hurt the most? Because it's not the landlord. Because the landlord has to make profit. If the landlord can't make profit, the landlord goes bust or the landlord has to sell up. So all the landlord can do and is forced to do is pass the fee onto the tenant. So it's the tenant that always gets screwed. The tenant blames the landlord. The government attacks the landlord and the tenant's the one that gets hurt. Because... The letting management companies are charging 250 quid. It's 908 quid unless you get it within the first 30 days and it drops down a bit like a parking or speeding fine. 
It's a complete and utter scam. And it's always, you know, the, the lower end working poor class that end up getting hurt. Yet they're able to campaign and market like they're helping the average person. Yet they're screwing the average person. And people do not get this. I really recommend that you share this video. And look, you can see that the reach, I wonder if anything to do with tax, gets de-reached, I wouldn't be surprised. It's a complete and utter scam. There's another one, I'll do a separate video on this, but did you see the one now whereby if you sell secondhand stuff on eBay or Vinted, or if you rent out your room on Airbnb, now all of your financial records are going to have to go to HMRC. Now, some people got this wrong. They were panicking that you'd have to pay tax on selling secondhand goods. You only have to pay tax on profit. But here's the thing. I'm sitting there thinking, hmm, OK, so the government want to know everything that everyone's selling, even if it's your secondhand clothes, secondhand Lego. Oh, Lego's an investment. Oh, I just think it's the beginning of them getting in and taxing more shit. And I wouldn't even be surprised if they tax on Secondhand goods, even if you didn't make a profit, because they now tax on interest when you um, borrow money to invest in property. So I just don't have any faith that this is not just another land tax power grab from the government. Exactly. Tax has already been paid. Um, look, fuel is double taxed. There's quite a few things that are double taxed. So never assume just because you pay tax once you're not going to pay tax again. This bullshit is going on. You absolutely should stand against this. Anytime a new tax comes in, you should be sharing my videos if I mention them. You should be doing content on them. Because if we don't all together stand up and speak out, nothing changes. Nothing will change unless we change. Complete scam. Uh, and they can call it a license and they can call it national insurance and they can call it a rate. It's all fucking tax. And I've been saying this forever and people don't listen. A lot of people are worried, they're scared, they don't know what to do. Well, I can help you because I have my digital financial freedom platform called Rob.team to help you get your tax bill down and your income streams up, to help you be an entrepreneur. There's only one way you can get rid of your tax. I'm not saying get rid of it all, but you can legitimately minimize much of it. And there's only one way, only one way. I did it 17 years ago. Anyone can do it. Most people just don't know. But if you join Rob.team, you will learn exactly how. Uh, start a company. Have a company for less than $50, 25, 30 quid. It's not hard. Um, you think it is, but it's not. Um, and you've got to change the way you earn your income. You've got to pay yourself first and pay tax last. So if you'd like to learn how to do this, um, access hundreds of hours of um, content on making, managing and multiplying money to help you start and scale a business. I recommend you join Rob.team. It's my digital financial freedom platform. There's hundreds of hours of courses, resources and masterclasses to make, manage and multiply money. Uh, and it costs less than 22 pence a day. You can cancel any time. There's no ongoing contract. Push back against the government. Keep more of your own money. Rob.team um, is the place that you learn all this stuff. It's really easy to join. Just type in R-O-B dot T-E-A-M. So stop now. What you're doing. Type in R-O-B dot t e a m right now into any web page on the internet rob dot team if you join now i've got um, a special gift for you which is my 10 hour 12 module money mastermind university course i basically did an online course which um people paid money for um uh, and if i was to sell that as a packaged up 10 to 12 hour course be five to seven hundred quid and um, it's basically everything that school should teach you about money and the system doesn't want you to know about money, how to build free, independent wealth, how to learn the money system and play it at its own game. And I did that Money Mastermind University live and now I've got the recordings. And if you join right now in Rob.team, I'll give you the recordings completely for free as a gift from me. By the way, Rob.team is offsetable, offsetable against your tax as long as you know how to do this. Um, you can claim the VAT back as long as you know how to do this. So you just need to, the more you learn, the more you earn. So I recommend you join Rob.team. No risk. Hundreds of hours of courses, resources and masterclasses to get your tax bill down and your income streams up. I definitely recommend that you share this video. Um, I've been talking a lot about money and tax and the government and the banks and the system. 
And it's kind of hurt me in a way because, you know, much of my reach has gone down. I have 330,000 followers on this page. <laughs> there's, there's 35 people on this live. All right, it might reach more people, but that's a fucking scam in itself. Um, so we must all speak up about these things. New license fees against landlords is a tax. New selling your secondhand goods online. That is potentially being taxed. National insurance is a tax. Rates are a tax. Licenses are a tax. In one of the tax brands, there's an element of your income that's taxed at 60% income. Corp tax at 25% already came off that. It's a fucking scam. And you need to get this message out there. So I wonder if you wouldn't mind sharing this. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you in Rob.team because there's only one way to get your tax bill down and your income streams up. And it's all to do with being an entrepreneur. And you can learn it all in rob.team. Type R-O-B dot T-E-A-M. Any web page, I'll see you there. Push back against the system. Tax is unfair. The amount of, you're taxed multiple times, often on similar or same types of earning. That's a scam. You, you, you're taxed on interest. That's a scam. You, you're taxed when you're born. You're taxed when you die. It's all a scam.